Okay, these guys, first time in the range here, the Canyon Hector Outdoors, Joseph Bruce Russell. So I'm giving them the tour. I showed them the falls, showed them a bunch of um, uh, old homesteads down river. I'm gonna show them a few more. Here's another one. And there's a picture taken from this doorway here, directly across the river over there of a guy standing in a mine. And it was taken by the girl who lived here with her father. And her father's in the mine. And she's right here and took that picture. So I'm going to show them both the cabin and the mine. How many cabins have we seen on the way? We've seen uh, one, two, two three, three, four, four, that four one five, four. six, seven, seven or eight. This will be number eight, I believe. This is the eighth cabin I've shown them. Here's the horseshoe mine right there. There's a picture with his, her dad standing in it. Old black and white. He actually, no joke, if I find it, I'll, I'll clip it down below. He looks like Nosferatu. That famous photo where Nosferatu's got one hand, he's got like one hand up here, one hand up here. With the, it looks like Nosferatu. But I'm gonna keep back over here and have some lunch. These guys are going in. They're going in. There'll be links to their, I'll have them put links to their videos in the details down below so you can see what they're seeing. Or you can search Horseshoe Mine and Pharaoh, the word Pharaoh after it with two R's and you'll come up with a bunch of them. You'll come up with one where we tried to get in the upper tunnel. You'll come up with another one where the rear tunnel, we broke through another slide and went to an, I went into another room. I'm up here with Joseph Russell. What are you doing, Alan? There'll be a link to his channel in the details below. And Hector Outdoors, there'll be a link to his in the details below. Uh, this is the first time in the canyon. Very first time I've been over here. <laughs> and show me your shelter. Uh, my shelter I got over here, I got uh, a Polish Lavu. It's a, actually a Lavu is the two uh, Polish uh, rain jackets. And you put them together, they snap together. Creates a tent, so this, uh, one guy will have this side, one guy will have this side in the Polish army, and then each guy gets two poles, and then uh, put together and make a tent. And then you use yours with a hot. Uh, yeah, a hot tent. I I haven't used a hot tent. I've been playing in the backyard with it and uh, put it in there. I got to make some things where you put sticks to hold it apart like that. So. It looks like the ground, uh, it looks like it's a little bit smaller than the uh, Golight SL3. Golight SL3, you can put two people in the back and one in the front. So. Yeah. A little bit smaller, smaller. And you, would you make that? Yeah. I made right it. on. I made one, but I gave it to Dave. I made one out of brass, but I gave it to uh, Bushcrafter Dave. It was, it was, it was nice. I made yeah. that one real quick. Yeah, I was at work one time and I came up with that uh, plan. I know, remember I, I texted you, I was like, I'm going to ask him if I can make one because, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it works out good though. Yeah. The more pressure you put on the top, the more it grabs. And I put a little bit of electrician's tape right here and I put a ballpoint pin spring right here. And it, it, it keeps the candle from sliding off and it keeps this from jumping up and down. But you want to lower the candle, lift that up and slide it down, locks. Swivels around. It's great. Yeah. I gotta make me another one. That was actually a, a spoke from a bicycle tire in the backyard. I, I was gonna throw it away and I was clipped off a couple and made that. The wind's coming up this way. Hopefully it doesn't shift because I brought the uh, poncho shelter, poncho tarp. Marmot Plasma 15. When those first came out, they were sleeping bag. When they first came out, they were 500 bucks, and uh, I had a, I had exchanged something from Backcountry.com, so I had like $80 credit, and then they came out with a 25% off one item. I ended up getting my sleeping bag for like 269. Somebody asked me how much those are right now. He wanted to get one. Went on the REI site, 930 or $960 for that sleeping bag. Incredible. 
It's 900 loft down. Or eight, no, 900 loft down. And I have a uh, Z Rest and a Tyvek. I'm using my Go Light Jam. And inside, there is a pair of thermals, an extra pair of socks because you get wet crossing the river. Extra pair of socks, pair of thermals for sleep. I will leave that there tonight to block the wind in case it shifts. Got it pegged out with seven pegs. I also have the hood up and over. And this one down. So, and Hector, yours, your tent is what? Tell them about your tent. It's a duplex. z packs duplex with a X-Therm and a zero degree uh, Cedar Ridge quilt. What pack is that? That's a uh, Waymark uh, through 40. Comfortable? Oh yeah. I had the same tent, but in the light blue, and I slept the, one time over there. Actually, I had the first generation z Packs duplex. I'm not sure which generation this one is. Same basic design though. Filtering some water. Yep. I just drink straight from the river, from this river. I have for years. I've never gotten sick, so I didn't even bring a filter. But this is a combination of all of our things. But I, I bought very little this time. Let me show you what I brought. I brought this is three uh, grocery bags. That's all it is. That's for picking up trash. We'll each have one. We'll, we passed a lot of we passed a lot of trash coming in here, huh? A lot, yeah. So we'll fill these three up easy. I'll maybe even have a fourth one. This is my food bag. Well, I'll get in that in a minute. But here's what we got here. This is my medical kit. Uh, hy hygiene also. Hygiene and medical. Uh, Gerber saw. MSR kettle, Keith titanium pan, Campmore soap, a little bit of olive oil in a water bottle. These are great. I got this at Sprouts last night. I was gonna have it with dinner, but I had a headache, so I took, took with ibuprofen with it. Um, ibuprofen inside of that. Key ring. These are from Scotland, from a friend of mine in Scotland. It's metal for safety and uh, a couple things he made me years ago. Toe warmer. Somebody gave me that. Uh, this is eyeglasses. This is my headlight and flashlight and extra batteries. This is my uh, pinfishingrods.com. I'll show you what's in there. The rod, the Goliath, the Goliath. The fly reel, the reel, a tackle box with some lures, extra spool with some line for tippet, and a, a fly, a little fly wallet. Schmog! This is a waterproof little go light uh, session camera. Empty canteen, waterproof bag, some dryer lint, some fire things. Four S bit a lighter. That's all I brought. Now food. <laughs> we need like kings. Peppered bacon. Corn on the cob. Pound and a half. Let's see. A little over a pound. Pound and a quarter steak. I got some butter, half an onion, and some cabbage, and some mushrooms. That's for dinner. For breakfast. Let's 
some eggs for my uh, sister's chickens. Scotch bread for cleaning with soap. Salt and pepper mixed. Fresh garlic, my dad's garden. Spamela Anderson. Peanut butter cook, uh, crackers. Paper towel. Coffee, honey, hot sauce, tea, peacock, wooden spoon, barbecue sauce from Arby's, two paper plates, smashed potatoes. We were expecting two other people, but they, they stopped along the way. The guy's ankle was bothering him, so that's why we're going we're gonna to have a lot of extra food in here. Um, <coughs> Toothbrush, toilet paper, uh, floss, okay, green beans and uh, mushrooms and onions. Oh, yeah. Got some corn on the cob. Water for some. Looks like it's ready for the uh, potatoes. The potatoes. Get some mushrooms and butter. Got an onion right there grilling with butter. Already did the other side. Got a cabbage and bacon. Joseph's steak. Here's my steak. It's all filled with fresh garlic throughout. Barbecue sauce. Look at this guy's steak. How is it? It's perfect. Look at that. Perfect. You can use a straw and snort that blood up. <laughs> Dippage. <laughs> Dippage, buddy. Let's put it all together now. How is it, man? It's awesome. Grab some potatoes. Grab some cabbage, dude. How you Mike? I'm 50, I'm 55 now, dude. I'm 55. So you beat me by a little ways. I remember you were doing the handstand and you're really safe on the skateboard. Everybody's like, he's 55 and doing that. I'm like, oh, I guess you can sound like you're 8 to 55. <laughs> here, dude. Happy birthday. Uh, no. go, here, here, go no. for it. Here. Here. He brought me food. I know, but here. I know, but here. <laughs> How that. often do you get that? I will take it to you. <laughs> I know, but here. Here. <laughs> Enrique brought me food. So I think I'm good. Yeah. Well, you need potatoes to go with it. Steak. You need it. You go with the steak. It can't, it can't you can separate it. Go a little bit on top. <laughs> can't separate it. Wow, this is delicious. <laughs> wow, this is, is really good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, will we, we see you uh, next Saturday? Are you going to be coming up, Alan? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. Hey, hey, Enrique, you, no. you want me to meet you Friday night or you're going to come on Saturday or night? You know when you want to make it? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I'm probably going to lay up a bunch of alcohol this week. <laughs> Oh, those guys are gonna have plenty. He's gonna be adjusted. They already have. They already have too much. They were trying to just throw it away. They were like, dude, they had a whole um, ice chest and they had a bottle. Yeah, then they had three separate uh, bowl caps. They had to stop wow. I'm gonna bring. Uh, I'll, I'll bring some of too. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring. Uh, a lot of ice. Bring it up. I think onion. Onion. Look, he, he made this out of a stick right there. Just right now? Yeah. Oh, that's like a Fried this cabbage, dude. Fried cabbage with bacon. That is good, man. Oh, I'll definitely let you guys go. I gotta head back. Alright. Alright, thanks for the Nice meeting you, Try to get out of your way. I'll see you next weekend. I'll see you next weekend.
I'll see you yeah. next weekend. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to come on Saturday. I don't know if I'll be able to make it Friday night. I'm going to dig for gold all week. Right? You can dig right there, where they are? Down there? Hi, Enrique. Bye. Take care. Later. See ya, man. You really? They brought me. Yeah, I never really seen that car up there like that before. Well, I'll get up there tomorrow. That class would be a little or a mine game. There's water there in that spring. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my coffee my uh stove with me. Have a coffee up there. So here's the inside of the Polish tarp. Look at this. How are you laying down? Okay, there he is. Inside laying down right have there. Land here and then have this right on. Me like a, a top wheel. Then he's got his lamp, his bite set up like that. His pack there. Look at that. That's the Hidden Woodsman. Yeah. Hidden yeah. Woodsman pack. Heat sheet. Z rest. Now let's put this over the top of me like that. All right, man. Good night. See you in the morning. Uh, my pole there, stuff here. I'll bring this over here. Block some wind. The wind switched directions like it always does. There's a Z play. Uh, Z packs. Got my shoes up there drying. They're almost completely dry. Oh, and this is camp. Uh, I'm gonna get in there, block this wind with my pad, my backpack sideways, uh, and get inside my bag. And I got my what do you call it? These uh, thermals on. Uh, I'm gonna use my little lamp here, set it up, show what it looks like inside. Here's the inside of my shelter. I've got it blocked here, I've got it blocked here, I've got it blocked here. Uh, blocked there, and this is it for the night. So, more in the morning. Uh, my trails, formerly Go Light. Almost impossible to get hold of anymore. But they do have Sea to Summit, Army Ponchos, all kinds of stuff. But one of the formations. Quite effective if the wind's not changing. It was blowing this way all day. Now it's coming this way. Unfortunately, funneling right in on me. Okay, there's where I slept. Here's where he's still sleeping. He's still sleeping. I'm going up there.
This is an old switchback. This this was a trail. Look. Oh God, if that's a mine. <sighs> Look at this. That mountain sheep probably just coming through here. I go up through there. I don't want to see if that's mine. No, it's not. No, it might be above it though. It might be. <laughs> I don't see any sign of a mine. If it is, it's collapsed. And what else would be up here except the sheep? I hear something over there. I'm way up above it. You hear? Oh, there's birds. It's a bunch of birds. I'm gonna use that ridge, follow that ridge up. Wild onions. Look at the wild onion. Another one. that and then I see mountain lion poop hey kitty I'm coming wake up You tell me that's not a trail. It may be a game trail, but it's a trail. 
Tried so hard and got so far. Oh man, this this is steep. This bush prevents me from going this way. Yeah. I'm just scared some of that's just gonna bust loose if I put a lot of weight on it. I'm gonna find a different way down. No way I'm going down this in reverse. Yeah. 